Hey, everybody. Welcome to Ask Dr. Testosterone, starring Dr. George Suliato, brought to you by his book, Bodybuilding, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. That is available on his website, gtool.com, g-t-o-u-l.com, as well as amazon.com. Also has a new book. Actually, I believe it's available now. Please welcome, from Athens, Greece, Dr. George Suliato. Welcome, George. Hi, Ron. Have a good week. It's really hot here. It's about 93 now, 95. Oh, I'm glad you do it in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. 95 degrees. For May, eh? it's really oh. the climate, the, the climate change, you know, the, uh, <laughs> how do you call it, this phenomenon that, uh, well, the greenhouse, well, the greenhouse effect, yes. You know, we had snow on Mother's Day in a, in a few places up in my area. Yes, and on New York, they had 40s. Yeah, we had, we had like 30s that day, and then you know, 70s, okay. but uh, quarantine, uh, my state is opening up phase one today, so as far as we know, but I, know I don't I don't believe gyms are going to be open. It's going to be construction, uh, churches, and construction. That's it. Also, That's it. Uh, yes, and uh, contacts, lenses, you know, glasses, and uh, it was yeah. here. Uh, but uh, stage three is the gym. Is the last one to open. Yeah, I don't know how many phases. We might have four phases. I hope we're not in phase four. <laughs> I, I, guess, like... I guess by June, huh? Eh? All right. I don't know. We'll find out. I, I hope. But each step takes two weeks. Every phase is two weeks? Well, I think they're all handling it differently. We'll see. We'll see. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, well, doctor, you got a lot of great questions this week, as always. I'm not going to yell at people for asking too many questions. So here we go. <laughs> Let me get moving with... Number one, doctor, when I stop using T4, will everything be okay? Will I get fat or is it up to someone's genetics? Will I need to take T4 for the rest of my life after a T4 cycle or is it not necessary? No, I don't think so. I mean, you have to calculate, to, you have to, to, to monitor your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone before and after. And this is the reason why we we do it gradually. So we elevate the dose from 25 to 50. And then we, we keep the 50 for another week. So first week, 25, second, 50, third, 50. And then the fourth week may go down to 25. And perhaps if we want to slow down this 25 every other day, uh, in order not to shock the uh, thyroid axis, which is really sensitive, uh, T4, of course, is more, is more valuable than T3. It forms T3. But if you take T3 monotherapy, then you're going to run out of T4. We have said that before. Mm. Um, but also, don't, do not count only on thyroid medication. You can use some clenbuterol or ECA stuff also. Mm. Uh, but it's a, it's a powerful uh, stack, the T3 clenbuterol. Mm. T4 now has the, a longer half-life, so you have to take it once a day. But it's less potent in the heart, less, I mean, less dangerous in the heart, but also less effective for fat-burning properties uh, than T3. Uh, actually, T3 has a shorter half-life that requires twice of dosing, and it's more potent. Anyway, uh, measure your TSH before and after. And I mean, uh, in order to be healthy and optimized, it has to be less than 2.5, the TSH, okay? If it goes up to 4 or 5, then you have hypothyroidism. And uh, make sure you don't abuse T4 and cut it in cold take, of course, because you're going to shock the thyroid uh, uh, axis. Yeah. Yeah. I remember back in the early days of women's fitness, uh, a lot of women didn't really know how to use this T3, T4 and their coaches didn't either. So you'd see a lot of these women get really fat after a contest. It, I saw it over and over again. Cytomel is T3, I think. Eh? Yeah. 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 Cytomel was a very popular drug back then. Um, okay. So next question, this guy wants your thoughts on this. He wants to do 20 weeks on steroids, then six weeks off with no PCT, mainly for his receptors to get back, then eight to 10 weeks on again for maximum gains. Once in a what do you think about that? Oh, I don't find it this uh, reasonable uh, thought. I mean, uh, abuse for four months, which is quite a long time, then no PCT. Actually, PCT uh, ables to, uh, if not desensitize your receptors, uh, then to, to open up, I mean, your receptors, if they have been desensitized, at least to kick your own production. But also, six to eight weeks waiting after 20 weeks is not enough. You have to, to, to wait as long as you were in to be out. So 20 uh, weeks. Wow. Weeks, weeks, yes. 
And yeah. after the second stage, it, it talks about eight week, eight to ten weeks uh, to to put some gains. I mean, what what about the first week? The first part it was twenty weeks. Was that not enough for having gains? I mean, it doesn't sound reasonable, right? Eh? Yeah, I mean. So we, we just I, I I I suggest to this guy to just keep the first phase and then do a powerful PCT for one month, four weeks. Yeah. And then I wait for HPTA and the rest of uh, and the rest of lab works to to get restored, you know, until he moves on to to the second phase. But four weeks in a year, four uh, four months in a year, you do crazy things about it. <laughs> I've heard of worse, but here we go. Next one. What is your take on DIM? Dia di oh boy diido diendo anyway. diendo methane and calcium C glutarate for estrogen maintenance during cycle. Are yeah. both of these substances useful? If yes, what are effective doses? Well, I, I'm not sure about the doses because I never use, but DIM is, a, is an estrogenic compound found in broccoli. Now, broccoli hmm. is known to be anti carcinogenic and also anti estrogenic. So, it's besides, it's the vegetable with the most fiber. It's 20 percent, I think, uh, 20, 20 grams of fiber, I think, per ounce. I'm not sure, but broccoli are a must in a diet, you know. Besides, they are very powerful antioxidants, and they contain DIM, D-I-M, which is uh, antiestrogenic, along with creasing. If you use creasing, DIM, and zinc, these are natural uh, kind of aromatase inhibitors. Hmm. I'm not sure about the dose. You may Google it, but you can find DIM in supplements. And in case you want to avoid aromatase inhibitors in TRT, because abusing steroids will, will uh, spike in uh, a lot of estradiol, now, uh, you may, I think you may use DIM, DIM, creasing, and zinc within uh, the TRT in order to avoid AIs. Okay. Yeah, you know, I have to avoid broccoli. I had to quit broccoli about 20 years ago, doctor. You well, know why? Well, you fart a lot. Yeah, dude, the gas was horrible. I think I was going to kill somebody. Somebody was going to die in my house. It really keeps you satiety because of the plenty of fiber that it has. Yeah, I mean, I hated to give it up, but uh, man... Fish and broccoli, this is what uh, Kevin Lebroni did for six weeks, huh? Yeah, a lot of bodybuilders. A lot of bodybuilders who do tilapia. Spark, tilapia. Spark some fish. This is the, the, the hardcore diet. Yeah, you want to get ripped. That's the way to do it, guys. It's You're gonna not. You're not going to be feeling wonderful, but, man, you'll get ripped. Next one. Ah, I'm 61 years old, still training pretty hard. Been clean now for 15 years. My walking around weight is 240 to 245. I have been thinking about getting back on a cycle. Would this be hard on my system since I've been clean for 15 years? What do you know about the, and then randomly, what do you know about the ACTN3 gene? So first of all, uh, is it harder for a person that age, 61 years old, to be on a cycle of drugs, steroids? I think it's kind of risky, more dangerous than in his 30s, of course, because the organs have not this kind of uh, stamina as, as you age, you know? Mm. And uh, of course... It matters if you have other issues such as hypertension, atherosclerosis, insulin resistance, you know, that makes uh, vessels more fragile yeah. and more vulnerable. But also, if you have a fatty liver disease, if you have glomerulosclerosis, if you have uh, um, some, you know, slight kidney failure. It depends. I mean, it depends on your labs. Also, if your ejection fraction is good. In your, in your heart, you know, but if, if this guy is perfectly well in this, in this matters, then I suggest you can use some testosterone, some anandrolone, some methanolone, which is DEC and Primo, mm -hmm. and reasonable low doses, 250, 100 milligrams, for instance, for eight week period, you know, some proviron, not the harsh, uh, not the harsh pills, you know, or the injectable windshield. So, and take it easy with the doses, you know, just one ampoule of each, Per week is enough, I think. Yeah. Besides, do not, do not expect to blast and have some massive gains at 61. <laughs> you know? Maybe, <laughs> yes, yes. I have seen a couple of those guys, though, some big jacked old dudes, but I don't well, think they're doing... Listen, they, they never stop since their 30s. Right. They're the super masters. Yeah, and they're, they're not on low doses. There's no way. So, um, Do you know what he's talking about with the ACTN3 gene? No, no, I never heard of it. All right, let's skip ahead. Yes. Oh, yeah. Can you suggest the best cycle for lean, dry muscle gains throughout a short cycle, eight to 10 weeks with zero water retention and fat gain, considering diet and cardio are on point? So this guy wants a cutting cycle? 
Uh, lean. No, he wants to gain muscle, but no, doesn't want to gain any fat. Well, the this, best is cycle diet, for... you know, this is up to the diet or the cardio also, yeah. to the way he trains. But in a way, in order to have a, let's say, dry gaining, yeah. he has to use, uh, of course, testosterone with some aromatase inhibitors. Uh, then he has to use some equipos, some trembolone, and uh, some turina ball also. And aromatase inhibitors, you can use some uh, xemestan, which is aromacin, of course, GH, yeah. and and avoid some ins and avoid the insulin, you know, in order to avoid the the fat storage and the bloating. Yeah. Uh, and you can use a little bit of clenbuterol along with his GH, you know. Okay. Cool. Next one. Can you speak about the importance of lipids in a diet, and what about keeping lipids high or not? So uh, dietary fat in a shredding cycle for contest prep. I know the body can make its own lipids, but not EPA and DHA. Is it a good solution to keep omega-3 fatty acids and whole eggs and drop olive oil? So I guess, first of all, should you have a lot of, you know, how important are lipids in your diet is his main question. If you use year, it's, it's really important, you know. Besides, if you diet, lipids are important in order to lower insulin spike and favor the insulin system. But we're talking about essential fatty acids here. Omega-369, okay? Uh, so you have to consume either flaxseed oil or fish oil. Uh, and also you might have to use olive oil, you know, uh, macadamia oil, um, some uh, peanut butter, cashew butter, you know, sesame butter. And also uh, you have to, to use krill oil, which is coming from shrimps. Now, lipids are not going to make you fat during cutting, but they, they will... Uh, ensure your uh, steroid profile to be on to the steroidogenesis and also some lubrication in your joints, you know. Now, yeah. how, how many calories are you going to get from 10 grams of 90 calories, 100 calories? This is not something essential, you know. Yeah. But uh, you get uh, more benefit from the health uh, factor facts out of them, you know. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Ah, next one. Here says, I'm a 31-year-old male about to finish my cutting cycle. I'm now 70 kilograms, which would be about 140, 850 pounds. I want to go on cruise and blast after a month to gain muscle. Can you tell me the best dosages for cruise and blast for test DECA and D-ball in order to grow muscle without getting fat as I want to remain in shape? But I don't recommend to, to cruise on Dianable, which is toxic. You know, besides, mm. if you blast then you shouldn't use the pills more than four weeks. So blast would be uh, for, I mean, he's not a big guy, but uh, he can use 250 or 500 of testosterone, 200 or 400 of DECA and 30 milligrams of Dianabol for the blast. And the cruise could be 250 and 100 milligrams of uh, test and DECA, you know? Yeah. Now to use 10 milligrams of Dianabol, as, as a cruise, it's not, a, it's not essential, you know, it's not beneficial. So keep it for the blast only and take yeah. it lingually uh, three times a day, not one at once. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next, next question is about equipoise. I was running high equipoise and 500 milligrams a week of test. And lab said my E2 was six without taking any AI. I'm also running Primo, but believe EQ has AI effects. Yeah, we had this before. Okay. We had yeah. this question before. It's the same. I upped my test and lowered my IQ, my EQ. Uh, yeah, you're right. Was this did this guy ask the same question again? Skip it. Skip it. Was the same. Okay. Okay. So next one is a guy wanted to know what is the name of the cream for acne. Did you recommend a specific acne cream? Yes, it's as a like acid skin or it. As a like acid is the compound. Okay. 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 Next one. HCG only therapy. Twenty five hundred IU every five days. Is this a good dosage? In my country, the only HC drug is Pregnal, 5,000 IU. Some said this dosage desensitizes late egg cells. Is that true? Yes, it is true. So you have to dilute it in 10 doses of 500, 500 IUs mm -hmm. and use. Uh, it depends. If you want to do a maintenance in fertility, you have to use 500 a week. Now, if you want to do a power PCT, you have to do uh, 1,500 every three days. Mm -hmm. So it's different, you know, up to the... Uh, what are you, what's your target? What you, what are you aiming for? Right. So what's your uh, purpose? 
you know, for the, for, you know, what we talk about is all the time is keeping the balls full and having so, a large semen volume. How much do you use for that? So 0.1 ml, if I had an I use one tenth of it, if you, if you suck it all in the insulin series, then you inject just one line of insulin, which is 0.1 ml, one tenth of the 5,000, which is 500. Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh, I don't know about this one. Your thoughts on GW501516, control of lipids and endurance. Is it worth it? Yes. GW is very effective for HDL elevation and also for, um, it, as we said, it shifts the, the, the burning of calories from anaerobic to aerobic. So the, the calories you burn are, come out of fat, but actually this is something that it needs prolonged endurance exercise, you know, not, mm. not for weight lifting or, um, or explosive sprint, for instance, or throws or whatever that is, but for um, cycling, for instance, long distance running, something like, like that. Running, yeah, marathon, you know, okay. uh, alpine ski. Yes, it's very really effective, more than an niacin or krill oil on an HDL elevation. Yeah, okay. This next one, I'm going to, um, sir, I'm addressing the question, the person asking questions, because I, I don't want, I, I don't understand why someone who's 150 pounds is running all kinds of steroids. I, I really think you should try to build a little more muscle on your own. And that's just me. That's just me talking. It's not, I'm not speaking for the doctor. He's five, five tall. Huh? I don't know how tall he is, but he, it's, he's from India. He's probably not six foot four. Neither am I, by the way. It's Okay. But uh, here's the question. Sorry. Could you tell me the right approach for crews after a cutting cycle of test enanthate 500 milligrams, trend 200 milligrams, and Winstraw 150 milligrams last four weeks for three months, 450-pound uh, guy, and how should I approach my blast for muscle gain? Like when to start and what compounds should I be adding? Now, he cannot cruise with Winstraw and Trembolone. These are only just for blasting. They are not healthy drugs. Um, so, no, okay, so see, that was, I'm sorry, so his his cutting cycle was testinanthate, trend, winstrol. Okay, and then? And now he wants to know what, what you would recommend for a cruise for three months. Just just do 250 per week. Okay. Testosterone, that's all. And uh, use, perhaps use some NPP, 100 milligrams per week. Okay, and then what do you, he wants to know what should he do to blast after the cruise? Well... I don't know if he wants to use the same uh, cycle that he did. Yeah. I don't know what he wants to, but if, you, if we want to change this project, then he may use, uh, instead of tremble, he can use some, uh, I mean, instead of testosterone, he may use master, and instead of tremble, he may use primo, and instead of winston, he may use anabar. This is more dry, because you don't have the testosterone that aromatizes. It's, you, do you find it ironic that so many people think there are certain steroids that are for cutting and certain steroids that are for bulking? Yes, but everything is up to the diet, you know, and the fat yeah. stores in the fat percentage you have. But some drugs, they are less, they're less accumulated in, in, in water retention in estrogens that are preferable for cutting. But if you are really a mad dog in dieting, then you may diet with DECA and, uh, and testosterone. This is what uh, Golden Era guys used to do. Yeah. And, yeah, you know. they, did, they did that for 30 years, tested, they, they dieted good. on Test and Deca. Yes. <laughs> and they look pretty damn good. If you uh, eat like a pig, no whistle and no anabar will make you leave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pe there, there are people who think they can eat garbage food, and if they take okay. Winstrol and anabar, they're still going to get ripped. No, 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 no. Um, so you sort of just answered this when we were talking about HCG a minute ago. So HCG protocol after first cycle. So for PCT purposes, what do you recommend for HCG? 1,500 I use every three days. 1,500 every three days? Every three days for two weeks. It's easy enough, guys. Our final question. See, we did not get 100 questions. Uh, comes to us from the United Kingdom. What would, what would be your recommended bulking and cutting cycle for a 48-year-old male? I competed for over 20 years but have not been on stage in the last two years. I have experience of taking PEDs and have tried most of them at some point. I'm planning on competing again in 2020. Really, 2020. And just thinking about the best cycle for someone my age, is there anything specific which would help an older competitor? If so, how would this be different from what you recommend to a younger man? I'm currently taking testosterone and Dianabol as a maintenance dose as our UK gyms are still closed, so not on a full cycle. 
Well, I don't think it, it's a good idea to use Diane Ball as a maintenance and training at home. You don't face issues at home and you don't maintain something calculated. He just, he, he just can uh, cruise on one ml of testosterone and use some profiron, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, but, but you don't train seriously. Now, when the gyms were open up again after the quarantine lockdown, she can use now the, the difference between uh, this age and the 28 year old guy, for instance, are the doses, I think, and, and avoid stimulants also mm. that affect blood pressure and kidneys. So she can use. 250 or the most 500 of testosterone, some equipoise and some NPP, okay, for, for uh, bulking, you know? Yeah. And just low dose just before the gym of perhaps some dianable or trinable, but keep it low and short. Okay. This is for bulking, you know? Yeah. But make uh, sure your labs are perfect, your echocardiogram of the heart is perfect, your ECG is perfect, your stress test is zero of complications, your blood pressure is optimized, you know, in order to start proceeding to the cycle. Yeah. And afterwards, have a blood work also. Perfect lipid profile, low homocysteine, low hematocrit, perfect kidney panel, you know. This has to be watched out, you know. You know and, uh, okay. and so that's, you, you gave him a good bulking cycle. What would you recommend for a cutting cycle compounds? Uh, master on Primo. Okay. Low dose Hanover. This is more safe, you know. Yeah. Um, and and some acetate, perhaps just for one month. Trenbolone trend, trend trend acetate. I prefer trenbolone than Winstrol. Yeah, you know, yeah. less liver toxic, but of course it has other side effects. Uh, what about what about growth hormone for someone who's yes, you know, yes. So if you can afford, it, yes. Yeah. Is that more is that more valuable for someone his age than it would be for a guy in his twenties? For for, for uh, maintenance, yes. Yeah. It's as an anti aging and preserving some muscle, but also it's uh, I mean uh, the cost effect of the steroid cycle and the growth hormone is equal. The point is that here you have five compounds and here you have just one compound. The point mm -hmm. is the side effects here are short term side effects, and here are long term under long abuse. You know. So it uh, would be more valuable to use growth hormone, but the, you know, uh, as much as you spend here, you spend also in five compounds of steroids. Yeah. And of course, you don't get hard, super hard with growth hormone. You don't get super uh, strong like with steroids, but you have other other uh, advantages: getting leaner and have better joint profile. You know, yeah. perhaps preserving some muscle, uh, but it's healthier, of course, and you avoid all these consequences to the. Uh, lipids into the liver with the growth hormone. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Doctor, your new book is it, it's out on uh, uh, yeah. Amazon as an ebook right now. It's ebook, and also you can uh, order the Kindle. I have ordered for you one kin one uh, paperback, so I'll mail oh, it nice. to you just before June. You're gonna have it within June in order to, uh, you know, uh, what, how you say you you promote it. Yes. Yeah, and I want to hold it up at the beginning of every show too. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, but right now, where can people find that? It's called uh, training. They can find it on Amazon, you know. Uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, training, nutrition, and supplementations in bodybuilding. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or you can, or, or they can, they can find it on my, on my Facebook profile. Yeah. Uh, they can uh, click on the, on the link, you know, yeah. because Amazon and Google takes some days, you know, to appear online, you know. Yeah. So, uh, it doesn't come up so frequent as the other book that has th hundreds of clicks, you know? Yeah. I want to recommend everyone, if you didn't see, we this video usually, it'll post it on a Tuesday. We record on a Monday. Uh, on Friday, we did a very special yeah. show with Dr. Tuliados and Dr. Thomas O'Connor. Yes. So please, that's it was all about uh, depression and mental health and bodybuilding. It's, that's on this, it's on this channel, the Muscular Development YouTube channel. So please, please check that out. It was a really good discussion we had with the doctors and very important subject, especially now with quarantine and lockdown, depression rates are up, suicide is up. Uh, it, it's definitely worth checking out whether you need to hear it or whether someone you love needs to needs to be uh, checked up on or whatever. It's very important stuff. Um, that was that was a cool show we did, Doctor. Topic, and I'm going to share it to the psychiatrist, the professor that invited me to to, to speak about TRT, and he will invite me next November to speak to speak about roid weights. Because really important, you know, the suicide attempts under uh, 
Road rage is not just about you know being angry. It's also about uh, mania, depression, psychosis, uh, neurotic, insomnia, everything. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole panel of symptoms. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just lost... We're losing people to suicide every, every week now. I, we just lost a girl in my area. A 23-year-old figure competitor took her life. Just a kid, just a young girl. And, you know, you know there we'll was never... a guy in Greece who hunted himself in the crossover. Wow. In the cable crossover? Wow. At, at the gym? His own wow. gym. His own gym. Jeez. Wow. That's a bummer. Uh, yeah, what, uh, when are your gyms opening up? Are they open now? 25th of June. 25th of June? Oh, no. Jeez. This is taking too long. But, uh, what are we going to do? All right. And uh, also, guys, Dr. T Tuesday is every Tuesday at musculardevelopment.com. So we post this video, and there's also a new article by Dr. Tuliados posted on our website. Check that out. And, uh, man, that's about it. This was actually not a, not one of the tougher shows. We got right through it. Yeah. <laughs> Less than a half an hour, right? Yeah. And yeah Less than you know, 55, eh? Yeah. Now I can go walk the uh, pit bull. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Dr. Tuliados, for taking the time. Guys, please, if you have questions, you leave them in the comments section here, and we get to them in the next video. So this comes out on a Tuesday. You have Tuesday all the way up until Sunday. That's when I gather all the questions for the doctor, and then we answer them every Monday morning. So that's how you do it, in case you want to know. Dr. T, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, stay safe over there. 95 degrees grease. My goodness, it's about 50 over here. I thought I was doing well, but uh, that's great. So everybody, thanks for watching Ask Dr. Testosterone. We'll see you next time.